Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sugai. I'm a board certified dermatologist here in the Seattle area. Thank you guys for subscribing to the channel. Thank you to Seattle for giving me a wonderful summer. As we get into the colder winter seasons, this is a very important topic. It's dry cracked heels and feet in general. Dry cracked heels, I see this all the time in clinic, whether it's just passing by the feet when I'm doing a skin check or patients coming in saying it feels like they're walking on glass because the fissures and cracks are so deep in their heels and the bottom of their feet. And they also can go to the hand and so there are different causes for dry cracked heels and hands. You have dryness, dry skin. So atopic dermatitis or eczema where you have a tendency to dry out your skin where you don't have the proteins, the protection to hold on to moisture in your epidermis. And so water tends to evaporate more readily from our skin causing dry skin. Psoriasis is another cause for dry cracked heels and hyperkeratosis on, on the bottom of the feet. And that can just cause really thick plaques and cracking where it can be very painful to walk long distances or short distances. Topical steroids might not always help and I have to put patients on powerful medications, whether oral systemic medications or injectable biologics every other week to every three months. So there are different biologic medications out there for psoriasis. So if you're dealing with really bad hand or foot plaques that are inhibiting you from doing your normal daily activities, definitely see your dermatologist because we can talk about ways to help you and not just throwing the kitchen sink at your immune system will work with your condition, how diffuse it is and your comfort level, how you want to treat it will work with you because there are different options. So psoriasis, you definitely don't want to pick at it. You, I know it's tempting to pick at the scale, scrub the scale with a scrubber, a loofah, like a really abrasive washcloth, you don't want to go after your psoriatic plaques with that because psoriasis is a very interesting entity where it will spread or worsen with trauma. And that's called the Kebner phenomenon. And you want to just go at it gently without trauma or physical exfoliation. So how do we go at it? You know, these conditions with dry skin from atopic dermatitis or psoriasis, how do we go about it with just creams? Now, skincare is very important. You can achieve softer, smoother heels without seeing your dermatologist. Of course, if you are getting inflammation, redness, a worsening rash, despite using your topical medications or over-the-counter treatments, definitely see your dermatologist ASAP. But let's talk about some fun skincare to do at home to help soften those heels. When you get out of the shower, this is the most opportune time to jump on your feet because you have have moisture from the shower, right? You don't have to go soak your feet into some diluted vinegar to take advantage of this. Although soaks are nice, you know, whether it's without vinegar or just plain water, soaking your feet for about 10 to 15 minutes and then applying your moisturizers will help with softening those heels and the bottoms of your feet. But after a shower, go ahead and apply some good moisturizer. One of my favorite brands for dry elbows, knees, feet, hands, Eucerin. Eucerin has urea in it. Urea is a great humectant that draws in water, but it's also a keratolytic that will break up dead skin and help it peel away more readily. So Eucerin, you can see, you can find it at Target, Walgreens, Amazon. It's one of my favorite body moisturizers, but they also make other moisturizers that are targeted for very dry areas. You got the Intensive Repair Lotion. It has a lot of urea in it to help really soften plaques in the bottom of the feet. And you can also go for the Roughness Relief Spot Treatment. I don't have that here in front of me, but I talk about it on my other social media channels. That one, that little tube, it's so affordable. And just spot treating those really deep cracks and fissures is very nice because it's packed with more urea than say this one or the one in the jar here. This is more for like overall body. The spot treatment you want to use just for like the hands, the feet, the elbows, and these are really thick areas that can take a lot of urea. Urea is not meant for your face because you don't need that kind of strong keratolytic action there. So for those thick areas, you want to use that spot treatment. After you apply that, you can go ahead and go to sleep. But if you want additional relief, you can actually use something thicker, an occlusive cream or ointment. So an occlusive ointment would be, for example, CeraVe healing ointment, Aquaphor, or Vaseline. Now I have those things all over the house because they're great for cuts, scrapes, burns, just wounds after a biopsy, I will recommend to my patients to apply Vaseline or Aquaphor CeraVe healing ointment because those are great. You don't have to put Neosporin. Neosporin causes a lot of allergic contact dermatitis, Vasotracin, same. So I just say keep it simple and just put an occlusive ointment that's a barrier to protect your wound so you won't get that infection. CeraVe healing ointment has the ceramides, of course, no lanolin. It has panthenol and hyaluronic acid, which is a humectant that will help hydrate the skin. Vaseline, just plain old, well-filtered, well-processed petroleum jelly. So people say, oh, this is too dangerous. You can't put this on your face. Yes, you can put this on your face in just a small amount. And you can use it to slug on your face, just a pea size. And you can also apply this to your heels at night before going to bed. 
And when you put a sock over these ointments, the next morning when you take your sock off, it's like magic, right? So that's a big tip for myself. Apply an occlusive moisturizer like these products on your heels, the bottom of your feet, especially when your skin's a little damp. You don't have necessarily have to follow up with a thinner moisturizing cream and then apply this, but you can go ahead and do that. You can slug going from thinnest to thickest, going from a wet heel to using a cream and then a thicker occlusive ointment like this. Aquaphor, I love a lot. It's a really great product. It does have nice things like basabolol. It has panthenol, but it does have lanolin wool alcohol, which this past year had was named top allergen of the year. And so I don't see it often, lanolin allergies, but I guess it is on the rise, especially in my patients with atopic dermatitis. And so if you're using Aquaphor and your rash is worsening and you're having this stubborn eczema that you're dealing with, maybe switch over to Vaseline or CeraVe healing ointment. I still love Aquaphor a lot. And I wanna show you a product that they came up with a few years ago, Aquaphor body spray. So this ointment body spray, my daughter's just such a influencer now. She was at the pool, she was done with her pool time. She went and she showered, rinsed off the pool water and when she got out she started spraying her body down with this body spray and everyone's like what the heck aquaphor makes a body spray and so everyone went on their phones and started ordering it off of amazon and target and so this body spray is great so you can just go ahead and spray the bottom of your foot with the aquaphor body spray it's just so convenient you know you just whip this out you do have to like work it in a little or, or spray it so you do have to like use your hands it's not totally hands-free but Totally something that you could throw into your routine. She leaves this by her nightstand so that she can apply it to some of the dry wrists. You know, kids get a little bit of dryness on their wrists and can get a little eczema there. So those are great strategies to apply on the heels. Very much a dermatology secret that we all talk about and a lot of people don't know about. Another product you consider would be La Roche-Posay Cicoplast for hands. I love the Cicoplast Balm B5, which has panthenol. This one also has panthenol and niacinamide, but it uses shea butter. And it feels like an occlusive ointment like Vaseline, but a little thinner. So it's almost a balance between an ointment, a thick Vaseline type of ointment and a balm. And so that's just really nice how that disappeared really quickly. Using that for your hands, but you can also use that for your feet. And if you cover this up with a sock, money too. You're just gonna get nice, smooth, uh, soft heels. Now, if you're using topical medications, always ask your dermatologist how to layer things. In general though, it's thinnest to thickest. But if you're using topical steroids, talk to your dermatologist about how they want you to use it with your over-the-counter products. Especially with this one where I'm gonna talk about one that came out very recently, Exuviance. Exuviance makes nice home peels, but Exuviance has made this nice foot balm that is 20% AHA and PHA. The PHA is gluconolactone, and it has a mix of alpha hydroxy acids to help soften heels, and you can totally cover this up with socks, and that will yield soft heels as well. I'll show you this one. I've been liking this a lot. Check that out. So nice. If you were to use this on your elbows and knees, make sure to wear sunscreen during the day because you are dealing with acids that's causing superficial exfoliation. So it can make you a bit sensitive to the sun this summer. So just keep that in mind. But my wife really likes the texture of this when she uses it on her feet. We did a little blind test between this one and Carousel, which is very popular. And we'll talk about that real quick. But she really liked the texture of this one. So Exuviance did a nice job with this. So you're getting like that nice occlusive effect. Plus you're getting some of the acids working without us having to scrub away the scale. I think this is an A plus for this product. So check this one out. I finally got my hands on Carousel. So Carousel, very popular. A lot of people were tagging me in videos asking me to review Carousel. And what do I think? Well, I think I like it. It has petrolatum. It has salicylic acid, which is very similar to what I talked about in Exuviance, which uses alpha hydroxy acid and polyhydroxy acid. This has beta hydroxy acid, which is nice because it also exfoliates the skin. Using it with urea and petrolatum, genius. I love urea, like, like we talked about, that humectant that draws in water and it helps act as a carotolytic. Plus you got salicylic acid to help peel away the scale as well and exfoliate as well as the ointment properties of the petrolatum being a barrier holding on the moisture so uh, when i did do a split foot trial so we did one foot with the carousel and the other foot with exuviance my wife and i did appreciate the texture being a little softer less greasy with exuviance and it just felt softer immediately the next day they both felt great both heels felt great so i still say this is a great product the carousel i just wanted to do a little head-to-head -head because in my mind they both were pretty equal now i say that affordability this would win over exuviance but check both out let me know what you think and i think this is just a really fun video to talk about something quick and focused so if you have other friends who are struggling with psoriasis eczema dry cracked heels hyperkeratosis 
keratosis, palmar plantar hyperkeratosis, you know, those things we want to go at it not physically scrubbing, but we want to go at it chemically with these exfoliants as much as possible. There are times when we need to physically remove calluses or corns because of pressure induced areas. That's a different story. And corns wise, they can be quite stubborn. Sometimes they look like warts and you can sometimes have warts with your corns or we call it clavis on the bottom of your foot. That's from pressure and you might need those cushion pads, those circular cushion pads with or without salicylic acid. So that's just like a whole other topic. This is just purely for dry cracked heels with some fissures. The other cool thing you could also consider would be super glue for the fissures. Liquid Band-Aid is the same concept, but that tends to burn or sting the fissure more often than super glue. So something to think about to help seal up those cracks so they don't keep widening with activity. So quick tips from your friendly YouTube board certified dermatologist. Hope you guys are having a great summer to fall transition. I am holding on to every day of summer with sunscreen as much as possible. Please like the video. Please share with your friends. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the bell notification to let you know when I release another video. Also, I just want to say after filming this, I am aware now of the Maui wildfires and I'm just so heartbroken. Me growing up in Hawaii, I don't remember anything this devastating, but I just hope I'm really praying for the people of Maui and Lahaina. It's terrible what's going on there and people need our help. For me, I'm gonna, I've been donating. I've been posting on my Instagram stories ways to donate. Right now, I believe goods, like physical goods and donations, they don't really need. It's more monetary support and people on the ground there in Lahaina. I'm just giving you guys all the biggest props and praise and love for going to the town and delivering water supplies to everyone there food you know just the essentials the people visiting Maui please be sensitive to the locals how they grieve I know there are still companies that are taking people out to snorkel right now in the waters where people are jumping into to avoid flames and please be respectful of the people of Hawaii as you enjoy your vacation I know everyone wants to help out please stay out of the way enjoy your vacation but also be sensitive at the same time because it is upsetting the locals when you're out in the water snorkeling and, and such in these waters that could be contaminated. I hear there's diesel all up in there and that's why a lot of the boats are on fire and such. So just be safe, everyone. So if there's any anyone out there who wants to suggest anything in the comments on how we can help, please to help out, okay? So thank you guys. Take care. Peace.